Nice work, kid. Looks like I owe you one. Welcome back to Screen Rant, your go-to source for all things movies and TV shows. Today we're diving into the shadows of Gotham to uncover a hidden gem in Nolan's Batman universe. I'll look into it. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight series redefined superhero cinema with its dark themes and complex characters. But did you know there's a secret fourth movie that many fans have never heard of? It's over. Give me the gun. Introducing Batman Gotham Knight, an animated anthology that bridges the gap between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Released just two weeks before The Dark Knight hit cinemas in 2008, this collection of six animated shorts explores Batman's evolution in fighting crime in Gotham City. With different animation styles and studios, Gotham Knight brings to life lesser-known villains like Killer Croc and Deadshot, offering a unique perspective on the caped crusader's journey. These animated shorts suggest that the characters are also canon in Nolan's trilogy. Though producers stress that the stories of Batman, Gotham Knight are not integral to viewing the Dark Knight trilogy. Batman Gotham Knight is a must watch for fans seeking to delve deeper into the lore of the Dark Knight. So why has this fourth installment flown under the radar? Perhaps it's the animated format, or maybe it's the overshadowing success of its live action counterparts, or perhaps because Nolan is not involved in the project. This invariably gives the anthology movie a distinct feel from the original live action Batman movie franchise, bringing a new spin on the character that is canonically the same as Bale's rendition. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight series was acclaimed for its retelling of Batman's origin story and ultimate retirement in the space of three movies. Nonetheless, a fourth movie that helps flesh out Bale's Batman is not to be sniffed at, especially when it involves him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with more obscure adversaries. The movie is another example of how animated movies often go overlooked, even in the comic book movie space. It did not receive a cinematic release, which would have hampered its prominence. With that in mind, Batman Gotham Knight is well worth a watch for fans of the Dark Knight series. For more details on Batman Gotham Knight and its place in the Dark Knight series, Head over to ScreenRant.com, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos.